Well, Stephen Culling, the man from Fort St. John, British Columbia, after night number three, is 1360 on three head and has made over $33,000 at his first Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. I mean, Stephen, what does it mean for you to be here in Vegas and to qualify and to ride in the Thomas and Mac? Oh, it's huge. I mean, ever since I started rodeoing, this is kind of the goal you have in the back of your mind. And it's been a long road and a lot of hard work and getting to rodeo with a bunch of really good guys and making dreams come true this week. There, there's nothing else that comes close to the feeling and backing in this box. Like every other big rodeo that I ever, ever thought was important, it's a complete different feel. This, this gets your blood pounding and, and you feel it in your heart and it's just different than anything you've ever been through. Every day in Grand Entry, there's a whole whack of us and we all kind of, we talk about the Bronx that they got drawn and the Bulls they got drawn and the Cavs and the team roping steers. So even though I'm just the only Canadian in the Bulldog and it's pretty cool to have such a group of Canadians in every event. And yeah, we, we visit every day, day before the performance and go over, go over everything and talk about it. It's pretty cool to have that 10 Canadians qualified at the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo this year. Iron sharpens iron, right? Like the guys you hang out with, the people you travel with, that all leads to the success in and outside of the arena. Talk about the horse that you're riding here. I know he's one of three great Canadian horses that made it here in the Bulldoggin. Yeah, that horse, Tanner's Eddie, he's changed both Dalton and I's year huge. I mean, made it possible for us just to go back in and do our jobs. And we knew going into everything that we had the best horse there was. And and uh, he just makes it job so easy back in there and blow the barrier out and he takes care of everything. Now I want you to talk a little bit about the start here and then the steers as well. I believe there's three pens of steers, right, total? Yep, there's three pens of steers, so we've seen them all now, so that's important too. I mean, being the average still after getting to see everything once, so going forward we will be more familiar with what our steers are and be able to go back and watch the film on them from this week already. So kind of be able to come up with a little more game plan at this point moving forward. Is your family here, are your friends here? Yeah, I've had a pretty good fan base show up and they're kind of rolling through the week and more, some leave, more show up. So <laughs> my girlfriend Jen's down here with me all week. My parents are here right now. Then lots of friends have come for the first couple days and they're taking off now and the next group's swinging through for the next couple days. So. Yeah, there's a ton of people from college, from home, from everywhere that come out to support me. It's awesome. Is there anything else you'd like to say to anyone back home watching in Canada? Oh, just thanks to everyone for being in my corner and the support and the text messages and the phone calls. And that means a lot coming from home and keeps me on track. Well, congratulations. This is Stephen Calling. He's now your number four man in the average in the steer wrestling with seven more rounds left to go inside the Thomas and Mac.